Well, hello, hello guys, this is Dragos, and uh, this is my YouTube channel here where I've decided to kind of start a new series. And this particular series is called Comedy Research. Effectively, I'll bring you guys with me on my research journey for creating great jokes. So you won't see just the stuff on stage, you'll also get to see the stuff behind, right? Uh, so without further ado, let us jump into it for today. We are going to look and react to the songs that are competing this year in Eurovision. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to kick it off. Let's uh, let's see what's happening with Eurovision this year. Let's see if there's hope for some hilarity. If there is comedy within the musicality. Right, we're starting off with Albania, and Albania is basically a lot of cleavage. We're starting a lot of cleavage from Albania side. Okay, I don't really understand what's happening here. This particular song doesn't seem to be too extra. Uh, it seems rather low budget film, but uh, you know, we gotta make do what we have, yes? All right, already moving moving fast for these ones. Right, we're going to Australia because Australia is participating in the Eurovision. Why? Perhaps due to their British legacy, right? Bro, I don't understand what the lyrics are. I don't understand what the what what I don't understand what the fuck Australia is doing in Eurovision. That's basically the whole the gist of it. But this song is not a winner. I can tell you right now, this is not gonna win. Thingy thingy cover? What? Weak. This entry was weak from the Australians. Very weak. Ah, Australia. Now we move to Austria. Let's see what we got here. Vincent Bueno. It's a bueno name. A oh, man. Let's see what we got. Tell me. This is not what I wanted. This is not going to be a winner, guys. Sorry, Austria, but but this song is not what I'm looking for. Bro, you hang on. Bro, Azerbaijan. They won a couple of years back, so I'm quite excited. I'm already liking the beats. Let's see what happens. Yes, this is what I want from Eurovision ridiculousness. This song is already a bit extra. Good job, Azerbaijan. <laughs> Dude, makes no sense. Why Matahari? Why Azerbaijan? I love it. This one goes up in the ranking. pretty good Belgium is uh, pretty chill it seems I, I would have thought it's from the UK when I first heard it but it seems Belgium now you don't really hear about Belgium that much nowadays right they, they haven't really done anything since you know chocolate the problem with this song is I can barely hear the fucking okay mission see if I can understand I can barely hear the lyrics uh, what is she saying I don't know Alright, Belgium not too happy with it. Let's see what we got next. Bulgaria. I'm expecting this to be lit. Don't disappoint Bulgaria. Oh my god, Bulgaria is disappointing. Why, why do you disappoint me, Bulgaria? Uh, I wanted more. We could have been more. Why, Bulgaria? Why, Bulgaria? Why? I'm disappointed with Bulgaria, not a very good entry. Bro, Croatia. 
Yes, this is what I want from this is what I want from Eurovision. Croatia knows what it's all about. Fucking yes. Oh my god, I like it. The bears, it's so extra. The green background, the song as well, the repeating Euro trash bit. Yes, uh, Croatia is so far a favorite. Oh no. Wow. Oh, look at this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Bro, what is happening with her arms? Yes, this is this is the core of Eurovision. Ridiculousness. Like, look at the look at the Bro, the tops on those guys as well. What the fuck? Yes, Croatia is top of the list at the moment. Let's see what we got. Yes, Cyprus, this is pretty cool. This is exactly the level of flamboyance I'm expecting from Eurovision. Cyprus, this is what I'm talking about, guys. We're getting, it's heating up here. El Diablo, yes, Cyprus. Benny Cristo from the Czech Republic. Wow, this is not something that I would have expected from the Czech Republic in terms of beats. I was expecting something more, I don't know, communist. Bro, it's a decent song, but I can't get El Diablo out of my mind. All right, Czech Republic. It's decent, but it's not. It's not what I. It's not exactly what I want, right? Let's see. Who do we have next? Denmark, bro. What the fuck's up with this guy's shirt? Like, they, they could it not find like a proper length shirt? Yes, it delivers in the, in terms of flamboyance, in terms of the uh, the extra nest. Like this guy has a wife beater and a purple jacket. Yes, it, it fits with the Eurovision vibe. However, 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 it's not delivering musically. I mean, it's not too bad, but it's not what I'm looking for. You know what I mean? All right. Estonia. Estonia. Let's see what Estonia has for us. Video is too dark, bro. I can't see shit. Estonia. It's exactly what you expect of Estonia. Darkness. This guy sounds very American. Didn't like it. Kinda of sorry, Estonia. This was not for me. Alright, let's see what else we got. Finland. Finland won. I remember when Lordy won with the Hard Rock Hallelujah. It seems like they've gone with another Hard Rock song. Let's see what it can do. Weak. This time it was weak. Finland, you were weak. I can barely understand the lyrics and, and I don't know what the fuck is happening here. So, nah. Wasn't wasn't it Finland? Unfortunately, it was not it. Let's see what else we got. France. Uh -huh. Bro, voila! This is like the most French song ever. It has the French hat. Has the voila. It has the vibe. The lady looks particularly French. I like the vibe. I don't know if I'm down with it. It's not extra enough for me. It's extra French, but it's not extra Eurovision. It has the little people like running around with like masks. Okay, it's right. Let's see what else. Georgia. Oh my God, the beard on this man and and a wooden chair. 
Let's see. I think just to, to go back to comedy research, the thing what we're looking for here is in terms of what potentially is memorable, right? So far, I think the only memorable thing has been like the TikTok thing ladies, just little arm thingies. And El Diablo. The rest are relatively weak. The French one is pretty decent as well. But uh, potentially, yeah, we might zoom in on Croatia for extra research. The Georgia song is pretty decent. I think it's not extra enough, but it's, it's, it's a nice voice. I like the guy. I don't feel hate. I Germany. I don't feel hate. All right. I'm already skeptical. I just feel sorry. If it's very clever whenever you find another way to bear me down. But I don't feel hate. I just feel sorry. See, can we I don't like it. We go back to me, the thing that it'll never go back to you. Because I don't feel... This guy looks like PewDiePie. Don't like it. Not a fan. Greece? I still remember Helena Laparicio's win. Let's see what you have this time, Greece. The video is definitely extra. I can barely hear the lyrics. It seems to be a recurring problem here, but the video is extra. Is Eurovision extra? It has that Eurovision vibe. I'm already dancing. Pretty good. Dance, dance. That's what it is. It looks like water's falling from an anus. What is that? Okay, next. Bro, yes, I am behind this 100% Iceland. This is exactly what we need. Eurovision needs Iceland. Let's see what they have. But I'm already liking the vibe and the feel. Yeah, this is so good. All right, we got Croatia and Iceland. Let me make a note of this somewhere. We got a good thing going. I like it. Good vibe. Next. Weak Ireland. Weak. Don't like it. Not a big fan of the island one. Let's see what else we have. Israel. Okay, starting off strong. Let's see what she got. Bro, I like the attitude. Israel has some good vibes. I might, might have to go on the list. Ooh. Yes, I feel like this is definitely Eurovision worthy. I'm going to write this down now. What a queen. Oh my god, the, the, the vocals on this are fucking lit. Alright, Israel, very nice, I like it. Let's see, next. Bro, I know this song, I heard it before, it is insanely good. Italy, this slaps. Wow, this is such a good, that's a good entry. Stragazzi, ciao. Bro, I gotta mention this. Whatever I do with the comedy, I gotta mention how good the Italian entry is. Like, if I ever do any reference to Eurovision in my jokes, I have to reference the Italian one. I gotta put it down on the list. Let's go on the list. Oh my god, that's a lot of good, that's a pretty good fucking lineup. All right, Italy, boom. Next. Okay, Latvia, all right, what's happening here? Okay, it's a little dubstep situation here, female dubstep empowerment. I like it, it feels very, this is very Eurovision.
Oh, a bald headed lady. I can get behind this. Okay. I think I think I need to listen to this a bit more, but let's see what's what's next. Leifu Adia coming in strong with that Eurovision vibe. What is even happening here? What the yellow suits, bro? I gotta write this down. Okay, I don't even know what the hell is happening here, but this is this, I'm in. What is happening? I don't even know what's happening, but I am, I am behind it. Like he is signaling for an airplane. Is that what's happening? Is he trying to get an airplane to land? Malta. Let's see what's happening here. Destiny, je me casse. That's right, but I'm not, uh, I'm not completely sold on this. Okay, the vibe I can give it, it's pretty good. Okay. It's not extra enough though, so I can't I can't pass it. Moldova definitely has the Eurovision vibe. Like look at these guys with face masks and, and, and glasses and, and purple. Now what is with the purple for this for this particular Eurovision? And pigness. Okay, it looks very Euro trash. Let's see. Moldova, don't don't disappoint. CGI ice creams, okay. Okay, the video has the Eurovision feel, but it doesn't have the song doesn't deliver. So great disappointment, Moldova, no bueno. This is how we found our... Vasil from North Macedonia, show me what you have. Oh my god, so extra. I've been to this place, bro. This is where the horses are. This is where the statues of the horses are in Macedonia. North Macedonia. Well, this is so Balkan, it's scary. Like this guy, just like this position, the beard, the haircut, very Balkan. Unfortunately, the song does not deliver. Doesn't, the song doesn't deliver, but I like it. He delivers the Macedonian vibe. Norway. The sets seem pretty extra here, so maybe this this is a good one. Maybe. Bro, this does look Norwegian. Like this guy is very plain. <laughs> Even though he's trying to be extra. I I'm not buying the song though. What a douchebag. Glasses inside. I'm not, not, not good. I'm not gonna put, I'm not gonna put up with this Norway. I like the extraness. It feels very like you know Will Ferrelly, but it's, it's the song just doesn't have it. Next, Poland, Rafal, the ride. Bro, this song screams Eastern Europe. I know, I know Poland, Central Europe, but this song, the, the, the fucking style and it screams Eastern, screams Ukraine actually. Not gonna ask, gonna take what's mine. All right. Pretty rapey, this song. Nah, does not pass the vibe check. Next. I feel like every Portuguese man looks the same, bro. Is this is this the same guy that won a couple of years back? Like they're, they're very small, like small figure, small body size with a lot of facial hair. Weak. I don't like it. Nope. Oh my god, it's Romania. Let's see what Romania has in store for us. Roxanne, never heard of her. I 
like it. It's it's it's, it's kind of a nice vibe. I feel like she. I feel like her her voice is being um, obstructed by the, the the music. I can't hear her her voice the lyrics. I can't hear it properly. Weak. Start off well, not doesn't deliver. There's no there's no there's no soul in it. Yeah, too generic. Next. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Russia, don't be afraid. Is there a reason to be afraid in Russia? A lot of reasons. Okay. I like that the, the costumes seem pretty chill. Extra. Has that extraness. I like it. But it's not enough. It doesn't go beyond what I needed to go. It's not gonna. It's not gonna make my cut. Doesn't deserve to be mentioned in the comedy. It's not good enough. San Marino. Wow. I even forgot San Marino was a country. Let's see what I got. Bro, it has that 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 Turkish vibe, that like Arabic vibe. Okay. The design, the set design, the costumes deliver. Bro, sounds, I, I would have thought this would be the entry for Albania, to be honest. Okay, this screams Eurovision. But it, it, it's like not winning Eurovision, but it screams Eurovision. I'm feeling the video, but the song is not good enough, though. Serbia, ooh. Yeah, Serbia does scream Balkans. This is very Balkan. All right. Disco balls in the bathtub with, uh, with too much makeup. Very Balkan. I like it. It's not gonna win. It's 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 not enough. It's it's a good temp, but it's not enough. The hair, though. All right, next. Slovenia. Woohoo. Anna Soklik. Amen. This is the second Amen song, right? Let's see what it has. What a what a. What a, what a Eastern European Britney Spears type we have here. It's an Eastern European Britney Spears type. No idea what she's saying. I can't understand. The, the voice is too unclear. The music is too strong. Not gonna win, but good try. Slovenian Britney Spears. Also, is the fire fake? Weak. Let's see. Next. Bro, this is so Spanish. Oh my god, this guy looks so Spanish. It's crazy. Oh my god, granny in the video. Okay, it's making it emotional. A little bit of a um, little bit, little bit of emotional blackmail here from Spain. How Latino. This guy, I don't believe him. He's fake. Not gonna buy it, Spain. Next. Purple. Purple seems to be the color of choice for a lot of these videos. What is up with all the purple? Sweden. Sweden. What is up with the purple? There's so much purple in this Eurovision contest this year. Not feeling it, bro. Not, not buying it. Not good enough. All right. My god, we've been on a bit of a bad streak so far, yes? Alright, let's see what next. Switzerland, ooh. Oh, they went crazy on the video. Spending all that money. Yeah, 
Yeah, the video, the video is like too extra in the dark side, but the song is weak. Next. Oh, that's a pretty good video, Netherlands. All right, let's see what we got. Sounds like he's saying, you don't want broccoli. Which he's not, he's not, uh, he's not wrong. I, I'm not too fond of broccoli. I don't, I don't particularly like broccoli. You don't want broccoli. You don't want broccoli. I think this deserves a mention. All right, let's save Netherlands. You don't want broccoli. You don't want broccoli. Ukraine, yes, yes, so far I'm vibing. I like it. This this has it has it. Bro, this is fire. Okay. Whoa, even the, the mask thing, I like it. The the, the plate. Oh. Voting. Okay, Ukraine, go to the list. UK is trash. This particular song, I can already tell three seconds in. Wow, they didn't even try this year. Jesus. Next. Oh, that was it. All right. All right, guys. So that was it. That is all we have for today for the Eurovision. Is there anything here worth integrating in the comedy material? But I've made a little bit of a, a bit of a list. A little bit of a list. The one that I like and the list so far. And the list so far is this. Croatia, Iceland, Greece, France, Israel, Italy, Lithuania, the Netherlands, and the Ukraine. This is my top, top nine. This is my top nine songs for Eurovision this year. Pretty cool. Interesting. I think the only ones that deserve a mention would probably be the uh, the Croatia one. Italy was pretty lit. Lithuania with the with the random yellow dudes. I don't want broccoli. Netherlands. We'll have to kind of dig a bit deeper at the rest of the songs to see if there's anything worth like discovering here in terms of comedy. But I think there is a bit here somewhere. I think the 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 goal is to kind of use the overarching topic of Eurovision to create some comedy. And why do companies? Why do countries send? underperforming artists Eurovision why do they send shitty songs is this the best they could that no one legit wanted to participate and what is the point of Eurovision it's just to flex how extravagant how how flashy you can be it's a lot of stuff in there but I can't quite figure out the angle uh, I'll follow up with this once a joke has been written so perhaps you can see what joke has arisen from this particular process but for now let me know what were your favorite Eurovision songs and uh, perhaps we can rate them together but uh, hang on and wait around for I shall attempt to do a Eurovision joke so as soon as shows restart keep an eye on this channel subscribe and you'll be able to see what I have been able to generate out of this comedy research but until then thanks a lot for watching and let me know what else you would like me to research going forward see you later